easily one of the most useful features built into Google Drive is Google Forms, and I'm going to show it to you today on Dottotech. Steve Dotto here. How the heck you doing this fine day? At Dotto Tech, we make technology easy so you can do more. Now, we've shown you a lot of different aspects of Google Drive in the last little while here on the channel, but I don't think that there's a more pleasant surprise than the features that are built into Google Forms. You can spend a lot of money on an online forms package, and I'm going to tell you right now that 80%, maybe more, of what you can do on any of those packages, you can do for free using Google Forms. Don't believe me? Well, let me show you. Let's create a new Google Form. And th it's kind of like a hidden gem in Google because it's not even there in the main selection points. Docs, Sheets, Slides, all great packages, but none of them do what this one does, Google Forms. Now we can start with a blank form or a template. I'll just show you the template to start because it'll give you an idea of some of the things you might want to do a form for. Now this is to create online forms that capture information. They can be registration information, they can be information, they can be contact information, they can be uh, applications, anything that you want to collect online. It could be hot dog orders for your school, for, 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 the, for the sports day lunch. Anything that you want to collect in an online form they are set up to collect that information and deliver it to you. So you see here, they've got some templates. Now, graphically speaking, these are not going to be the most beautiful forms on the planet. This is not a spectacular landing page, page form building tool that looks spectacular. It, functional would be the word of the day. But look at what they give you to start, just to give you some ideas. Tickets, quizzes assessments, worksheets in the education space, customer feedback, event feedback, order forms, job applications, request forms for work or time off, event registration forms, um, contact time, finding a time for a meeting, an RSVP for a party or an event, party invites, t-shirt sign up forms. We have uh, contact forms. Uh, you get the idea. Let's start with a blank though and you can see what happens. So when we start with a blank form, it is basically brought, we're basically brought into a shell that allows us to decide what type of question we want and what options we're gonna give people to enter that information. By the way, all of the information that's collected here is gonna be stored in a Google Sheet, in a spreadsheet, so that we can sort it and manage that information downstream. But that's farther down from what we're doing right now. Let's just start with the creation of the form and the type of information that you can collect. Oh, by the way, of course, I mentioned it earlier, but I should mention it again. This is absolutely free. Free. Ridiculous. All right. So let's call this form Steve's form. Completely uninspired as far as that goes. So now you can just start asking questions. Mark's brother. Okay. So is it going to be Zeppo, Harpo, Grocho? And can you remember what the last one is? Do you remember? Do you? Yeah. Chico. All right. There it is. Just to mess people up. All right. So here we are. What's your, who is your favorite? What is, it should say who. Who is your favorite Marx brother? Who is your favorite Marx brother? Zeppo, Harpo, Groucho, Chico, or Carl? All right. The check boxes, we can choose different types of answers. We could have short answers if we wanted, multiple choice, check boxes, a drop down menu, which would create this as a list. You could include file uploads. You can put scales and other different types of questions into the form, but that's all we're going to do right now is we're going to create this form with the one question, Steve's form. All right. Once this is done, you can add, of course, multiple questions. We're ready to actually start to ask people to fill this information. And as a matter of fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this Steve's sample form, Steve's Mark's brothers, and I'm going to share it in the description as well. So you can actually go to this form 
and fill in the information yourself and you can see what it looks like on your side of the equation. Once this is done, you've got all sorts of additional things that you can do. Once, once it's done, you can add graphics to it, you can dress it up, you can incorporate a video, you can add different sections, you can make these very long and elaborate documents. But essentially, it's just gonna be more of the same. You're gonna have questions that people are gonna give you responses to and you're gonna want, the key is, you want to collect the information from the individuals. Once the forum has been composed, we need to find a way to share it with our constituency, with our community. It needs to get into people's email boxes or onto a web page in order for people to fill in the information for us to collect the information. And we do that by clicking on the send menu here. And we're just gonna look at the basic ways that we share it, but this will give you an idea of just how flexible and how ubiquitous this tool can be. So we can actually send an email with this form. We can send it to an email list or we can send it to individuals uh, just by filling in the information here and filling in email addresses. And you can actually include the form right in the email. But these two here are far more relevant, really for forms that you wanna share kind of widely. The first is a link. You can take this link, we can copy this link, now we can open a new browser window and that link can be pasted. It can be shared by Twitter. You can share it in your description in Instagram. You can share it on Facebook. You can share it on your website. You can embed it in an email and share it with people. You've got all of these different options to share using this sharing link. Now my personal favorite as is, well, actually I kind of like Harpo best. I don't know why. I'm going to say Harpo. There it is. And it's been recorded. It's that easy to share it via the link. Let's go back to the form and take a look and already it's registered a single response. We click on the responses and it's told us that the first response here is Harpo. Now you're gonna be able to open these response forms in a Google Sheet. Do you see right here? We can create a spreadsheet from the form. And if I do that, once you've collected multiple responses, you can either import it into an existing or create a new Google Sheet. And here it's creating the spreadsheet with the timestamp and the answer. Uh, now, if we wanted to collect email information and address and name and all of that sort of information, that would all be collected here as well. Before we leave the sharing menu, I wanted to show you one other option in the sharing. And that is, let's go back to send. We have next to the link where we created the link that we can share. We also have these little open and closed parentheses. And that allows us to embed an HTML code. So we can actually take and embed an iframe in a web page. So if you have your own website, you can embed this form on your website and collect information directly from your website. So much flexibility built in and it is free. People spend a lot of money buying forms tools to collect very basic information. If you are in that camp, I think it's well worth your time to explore if you can do everything you need for free using Google Forms. Google Forms is truly Google's hidden secret weapon. It is such a valuable Google Drive tool. Uh, I'm just amazed that more people aren't using it for more things. I hope you found today's video to be useful and I encourage you to comment below and let me know if you did. If you have any questions about Google Forms, share them. Even though I don't have time to respond to each and every question, I guarantee you I read every comment. Now I have two favors to ask. First, please share this video with others, especially with educators, teachers, people who you think might really find Google Forms to be useful. And while you're at it, click subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell so you'll hear about any upcoming videos from us here at Dotto Tech. Till next time, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle. <laughs>